Hey, in 2017, we had a total solar eclipse of the sun right here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, uh, and it affected the plants and the livestock. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, the Earth just experienced a total solar eclipse, but that was in Australia. I happened to catch one in 2017 right here in my backyard in southwestern Oregon. So I'm going to show that to you guys, and we'll revisit it. And um, it was interesting because I paid attention to how it affected my livestock and my plants. Enjoy. I filmed the eclipse of the sun here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. So stay tuned and see what I got. It's really peaceful up here on the farm. I was looking at a video feed from the internet. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic and a lot of people out there. So I'm enjoying the peace and quiet up here with my my wife and my grandkids, we get to enjoy watching a solar eclipse with uh, my grandkids and watching the uh, awe in their eyes. What a precious moment to be able to have that. So I'm setting up my camera and we're going to go ahead and put a lens that filters the sun so it doesn't damage the camera. And go ahead photograph this epic solar event now where we're at it will not be a total eclipse we're about approximately uh, 200 miles south of the path on which the uh, that solar eclipse will uh, come but we'll get it I anticipate it's gonna be dark so we'll see let's look at it So this is pretty interesting. I also uh, was curious during the uh, darkest times we set the thermometer up and monitored the temperature as it dropped. It got cold. We had to put our coats on. I also grabbed a camera and ran out and took a picture of the animals uh, to see how they behave towards the total or the, the eclipse during the darkest times of the eclipse. Uh, so the, the chicks ran under mama, she hunkered down like they were going to bed for the night, and the bees also went to bed for the night. Uh, they, it affected them also, and the ducks kind of huddled together in the pond, which is typically what they do at night when I leave them out on the pond, they kind of stay in the middle of the pond for their safety. <laughs> so it was pretty interesting. Uh, I noticed that after the solar eclipse uh, passed. Morning glories as the sun made its path across the skies they uh, did what morning glories do and they folded up and closed in upon themselves uh, when hit by the full sun. As you can see in this video I did a, a, a fast action process of this. This is interesting that I captured this. So what was extra special about this eclipse was I got to enjoy it with the company of my grandkids and my wife. So it was quite the adventure and the experience to be able to enjoy it. I want to thank you guys for tuning in on this special episode since the world just experienced another solar eclipse. But that was down in Australia. And... Uh, so the world missed it, except for those people who were in that little town and those who were fortunate to be able to journey to that spot, that geographic location, to observe it themselves. Anyway, I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Please subscribe. Click that bell icon that loads you to new videos as I upload them. 
Remember, be safe, always be kind, give us a thumbs up, okay? Bye-bye now.